What is up guys? So uh, first off, I want to apologize for my huge uh, hiatus. Um, I think the last time I posted was pretty much August because that was, I mean, that was my first anime haul video and pretty much my last until today. Um, so this is going to be an anime haul for uh, the seventh month span that I haven't been here or uh, been posting. So uh, it's a lot of manga or it's a lot of anime. Sorry. I'm going to do a separate video for the manga, but uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, I got Dragon Ball Z Season 5, Seasons 6, 7, 8, and 9, and that is all of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I have, you know, all the previous seasons, I have all the movies, and all I need now are the two seasons that I'm missing for the original Dragon Ball. So, that's pretty sweet. Next up, we have uh, Digimon Try Determination, which is the third film. Uh, we have In This Corner of the World, which is a really good movie. I haven't watched it yet. And uh, we have Love Live Sunshine Season 1, because I love Love Live for whatever reason. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff. All right, next up, we have Pat Labor, the OVA series, Collection 1 of the TV series, Collection 2 of the TV series. Collection 3, 4, um, the first movie, second movie, and the third movie. I thought it was done. Whoops, that's almost about to fall. Third movie, and the New Files uh, series. So, whoops, a huge glare. But yeah, so I haven't finished all of it. I watched the first OVA series. Really cool. It's kind of a it's mecha with police. It's pretty much what it is. Not very gun to me. Not super out there. Pretty uh, grounded mecha series, you know, for a mecha series. And uh, it's really cool though. I'd recommend. Definitely recommend getting it. All right. Next up we have uh, Outbreak Company. I haven't watched a lot of these shows by the way. I just got them during um, huge sales. Like Sentai has some really big sales during the year, and um, I just kind of jump on them. I have Nian Koi. Uh, Food Wars second season, or second plate, from up on Poppy Hill, which is actually not a Sentai-owned series, but I don't know, I'm not really going in any particular order. We have uh, Magical Shopping Arcade, Ab, Ab, Abe no Bai, oh my god, An Abe no Bai, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not good with pronunciations, but a uh, really cool series, kind of reminds me of FLCL in a way, but... Not as smart, I guess. FLCL, I felt like, was a bit of a smarter series, but I don't know. Then we have Ushio and Tora. Classic shonen series, but with a newer anime, similar to kind of like Hunter x Hunter. Really cool series. Um, still in the first season. It's kind of... I'm not really feeling the latter half of it. First half was really cool. But yeah. Next we have Pokemon, the movie I Choose You. Again, um, I love Pokemon, but... This one, obviously it's different. It's kind of a re, um, a reboot of like what the original series was. Uh, really cool until a certain scene that really caught me off guard. I was not a fan of it. Just ended up being really creepy. Next up we have uh, My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. This is the complete collection. So it's the first and second series. Didn't get a dub, but whatever. I'm just a huge fan of the series. And I wanted to own it on Blu-ray. We have uh, My Neighbor the Yamadas. Continuing my Ghibli collection, uh, when Marnie was there, con again, continuing the Studio Ghibli um, collection, really good movie, didn't like the first half, but the second half got really intense. Uh, let's see, continuing, we have Hunter x Hunter Volume 3, they finally announced the fourth volume, it's going to come out sometime in June, which is pretty awesome. And we have Darker Than Black, Gemini of the Meteor. Uh, this is the second season. A lot of people didn't like it. I think it's a good series. And, like, a as its own, it's really good. I don't think it's a good sequel, though. Uh, by the way, sorry if there's, like, cuts and then, you know, there's a bunch of anime and then it's gone. I just, you know, there's so much that I kind of want to get at th get through this in a pretty decent pace. Not make this video too long. Then we have Hunter x Hunter, Phantom Rogue. Decent movie, not very good though. Not not a big fan. I just want more of the uh, you know actual series. Then we have Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. It's an Attack on Titan clone. Not that good, really. The only reason I kind of like it is just the art style. It's very kind of '90s-ish in a way. But I wanted to like it. 
Then we have uh, Birdie the Mighty Decode. I got this at Katsukon. Whoops, it's kind of out of the out of the shot. I got this at Katsukon for. Uh, I got this at Katsukon for thirty five bucks. You know, this is out of print. It's an Aniplex series, and you can't get it like anywhere else unless you want to pay for like seventy or ninety dollars. And the other series that I got at Katsukon for a steal is Hell Girl for thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. That's ridiculous. This goes for like at least two hundred dollars at the moment. So really happy because I like both those shows, and I finally got them. Then we have uh, Pokemon. The first movie, second movie, and third movie in this limited edition Steelbook collection. Big fan of that. I hope they release the fourth and fifth in these uh, Steelbook collections because it's the fourth and fifth movies are definitely some of my favorite. Alright, so we've gotten through two piles so far. We just have two more piles to go. Halfway done. Uh, next up is Napping Princess. Started it. Kind of fell asleep because it was... It's, it's not boring. It's just kind of convoluted in a way. It's hard to keep track of what's going on. Uh, I'll finish it at some point, though. Only yesterday, haven't watched it. Still continue the Studio uh, Ghibli collection. And the tale of Princess Kaguya. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I really like the art style. I haven't watched it, though. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. Um, so, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! and you haven't watched this movie, I highly recommend it. It's super fan service and stuff. You know, it's just trying to appeal to, you know, older fans. But... Just Set Seto Kaiba in this movie is so ridiculous. It's hilarious. But it, it's weird. He's he's so ridiculous and over the top, yet he still manages to be badass and funny at the same time. So definitely gotta definitely gotta check that out if you haven't. We have uh, Kaiba. Speaking of Seto Kaiba, we have Kaiba the complete series. Um, this is directed by Yusa. Or oh my gosh, I get I can't even remember his name. Same guy that did uh, Devil Man Cry Baby and the Ping Pong at the animation. If you haven't watched those series, watch them and watch Kaiba. Also, Tatami Galaxy, by the way. Uh, next up, we have Get Backers. Um, whoops. A lot of people talk about this show. It's supposed to be like one of those really good classic shonen. Although I've heard people say that they didn't like it, but uh, I bought it regardless just because I like it. And I'm a big fan of one of the voice actors in it. Although, uh, he was they replaced the previous voice actor with him. It's uh, Jason Leibert. You know, he does Hay from Darker Than Black and um, Yato from Noragami, so whatever. Then, then we have Lupin, Voyage to Danger, and Lupin, Island of Assassins. Again, big fan of Lupin. I like the movies more than the actual series just because it's, you know, shorter, contained stories, even though the anime is pretty episodic regardless. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just getting, I'm actually getting tired from talking so long for this long period of time and just trying to get through this stack really quickly um all right tokyo magnitude 8.0 so it's heard it's a really heartbreaking anime i haven't watched it yet i do a lot of blind buying but uh, i know this is done by studio bones i'm a huge fan of studio bones so i buy their stuff regardless then we have samurai girls and uh samurai bride which is the second season yeah it's an etchy series with samurai girls that's pretty much all it is don't really recommend it Unless you like that stuff. Um, the show is Demon King uh, Daimao. I actually really like this series just because it's one of the first anime I watched. When I was really getting into their, um, you know, really getting to anime. And my first introduction to anime outside of the main shonen was an ecchi anime called Girls Bravo. So I kind of fell into the whole ecchi thing. Samurai Girls was after I was done with that phase. But I really love Demon King Daimao. Next up we have Chihaya Furu. Again, I heard really great things from it. So I just bought it regardless, just because, again, really good deal. Uh, Chaika, the Coffin Princess. I have watched the first season. I haven't watched the second season, but I really did like the first season. And it's made by the same guy that did, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Princess, Scrap Princess, Scrap Princess. Really good anime, by the way. Uh, moving on, we have Needless. I heard it's similar to Gurren Lagann. Uh, I think I watched two two episodes, and it's pretty interesting. I haven't finished it, though. Then we have uh, Mayo Chiki, kind of a generic kind of romance, rom-com kind of deal. Never finished it. <laughs> then we have Maid Sama. I love this series. Uh, I actually watched a f the fan dub when that was coming out, and it was just such a terrible dub when I when I really think back on it, but I really love the series. I'm glad Sentai uh, eventually did uh, an actual English dub, because I'm not really big on buying series that don't have dubs. Just, I don't know. I feel like it's not really worth it. I just like dubs. Then we have uh, Ghost Hound. 
Haven't watched it. Heard it's really good, though. We have uh, the first season of Food Wars. Big fan. We have Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. It's This is the second movie, I think, for the, the anime series. I like the anime series. Never finished it, but it's really good. <laughs> it's just so much anime. It's hard to finish everything. Then we have uh, Get a Robo Armageddon. My friend recommended it to me, and I was able to get it cheap, so I just, you know, why not? And then we have... Um, a series that I don't know how to pronounce. I do remember watching this though when I was a lot younger. So um, I saw this at Katsukon. I bought it because it was again kind of cheap and uh, why not? All right, so we are in the last stack of anime. Uh, so let's just get right into it. We have Fruits Basket, the uh, Sweet 16 limited edition. Fruits Basket was the first shoujo that I ever watched. It was beautiful, I loved it. I never thought I'd love it, but I loved it. Uh, next up we have The Disappearance of Harui Suzumiya. I actually got this from free. Right Stuff sent it to me in their uh, anime halls. Just because they wanted me to kind of like review it. So that was pretty sweet. Didn't pay for it. Didn't have. Didn't even have the movie yet too. So that was pretty cool. Uh, then we have Your Name. The limited. Oh my gosh. The limited edition. Your Name is beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. Um, it's probably the most recent time that I cried. Haven't cried, <laughs> haven't cried since this movie. But uh, oh god it's just. I don't know, it just really hit me in a way that I never thought it would. Uh, next up we have Rosario Vampire, uh, Seasons 1 and 2. I actually got it signed by uh, Colleen Clinkenbeard too, that was pretty sweet. Next up we have Parasite, uh, Limited Edition 1 and 2, because I really like Parasite, and I got both the Limited Editions for 50 bucks together, so that was awesome. And then we have Fusei, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Fusei. Yeah, so for some reason, this was like nine bucks. I mean, this is, it comes with a booklet. I mean, this is pretty sweet. So for nine bucks, definitely, man. I don't know if it's just the company is trying to sell. Oh my God, that's just so beautiful. Yeah, I think the company, it's something with the company, uh, Nice America, I think they're trying to get rid of their anime. But yeah, let me just put that to the side. And then the last thing that I have, which is just one of my favorite anime of all time, I'm sure it's mo most people's favorite anime, or one of their top ten at least. Cowboy Bebop. And I got it signed by Spike Spiegel himself, Steve Blum. This is the uh, premium edition, the uh, Amazon edition. So, this is amazing. I literally bought this just so that he could sign it, because I knew he was going to Katsukon. And I have the regular DVD set, but I didn't want him to sign this. That, I wanted him to sign this. Oh my god. Alright, I'm tired of talking. Um, oh my gosh, so, uh, what am I going to do? Oh yeah, thank, I appreciate anybody that, that made it through this whole video. I apologize if, you know, I was like, breathing hard or whatever, it's just, it's, it's really hard to talk for a long time, and, um, yeah, I will have a manga collection video, or not a manga collection video, a manga haul for the past seven months of a manga that I bought. This is just the anime, I was going to do them together, but that would have been too long, uh, yeah, I'm ending it. Thanks for watching. Bye.